Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! And now, it's the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the boxer, winning professional record of 29 wins, 6 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Eddie Alvarez. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Dan Mergliotta. Dan Mergliotta, your referee. Ready. Ready. So and we are underway here at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. So here's the former UFC light. Oh! Massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. And now is where things could get really interesting. Oh! Yeah, and here he goes again. Alvarez gets back up again. Switching stances here. And he gets the single leg takedown. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price. And he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh! Just out of range with the big right hand. And he doesn't get it. Tags it with the overhand. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, that's some wrestling right there. Setting up a sub here. One arm guillotine here. Can't hold it. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. All right, so how about it? Takes the fight to the ground one more time. Now we'll see what he can do with this takedown. He has certainly scored a lot of points with his wrestling, and that was his game plan, Joe. He felt like he had a decided advantage in this area. He is taking him down at will tonight. Postures into place. Plans oh, a big elbow man. there. That is rough. Hard ground and pound elbow. Oh, and he's back up again. Front kick to the face. Nurmago Menov gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Another takedown attempt here. Another excellent takedown from Nurmago Menov. He got tagged there. He's back up again. Able to check that kick as well. Back to the jab now, no good. Wow! Big shots! Big, Big body shot! Body. What a fight so far. And here's a big slam, nice technique. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. What a great round. Okay, ready, round two, you ready? Second round here. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna want to move and avoid taking damage. Oh, he slams him down, Joe. Oh, nicely done there. And he's gonna try to take the back. And now he's gonna try to stand up, and he does. Change into the southpaw stance now, Joe. Pretty good straight punch there by Alvarez. How about that chin? And both guys really throwing with authority. 
clipped him with a right hand there. So an interesting decision there as he decides to oh. oh. Pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, oh, man. He's back to side control. He's got half guard. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Nurmago Medov gets touched by that kick there. And back up again. Oh! Kick in the face! He moves to stacking him now. Oh! He's landing some serious ground and pound strikes here. and he nearly did so with some of those hammer fists, man. He wasn't trying to score. He was trying to put an exclamation point on a most dominant performance here tonight, and he certainly did that as he ends the fight by knocking. Let's check it out from a different angle. Check it out here. Boom! And he's out. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, well, it's becoming a pretty common visual inside that octagon as Khabib Nurmagomedov gets his hand raised yet again here tonight. And when the injuries and the weight cutting issues aren't part of the narrative and we just focus on the combat and this guy's skills, he looks the part of the best lightweight in the world. A lot of people believe that eventually you are looking at a UFC lightweight champion, if not UFC.